I think volunteering is one of the few things that you can do to really differentiate you from everyone else, all of your peers. As you go through uh, your academic education, basically everyone else will be doing much the same as you. So how to differentiate yourself, how to show that you are a bit different and have something extra to add to everyone else who's at the same interviews competing for the same opportunities. To be fair, I think everybody should gain some additional experience beyond just a degree. Serving live work experience, having got to know how business runs and so on is always valuable. I think basically volunteering is a very worthwhile, uh, very satisfying uh, experience. Um, actually being involved in helping people to improve their lives is really rewarding. I think also from a student's point of view, um, it's a real life situation. So it's, a, it's an opportunity to put your skills um, into, into practice in a, in a real life situation. Basically they should go the extra mile to volunteer because it makes them more rounded people. If all they have is a CV which talks about their education, then I think that prospective employers won't really see depth in character. It also uh, helps them expand as a person uh, and so to see how others live and to throw themselves into volunteering in other arenas, I just think that it makes them appreciate other people more and it makes them appreciate different parts of society more. The same reason really, um, that they can uh, gain a profile, uh, it shows that they have a sense of responsibility to their community, uh, it shows that um, they can really appreciate that others uh, are more in need than them, it makes them appear less, dare I say, self-centred. I think that uh, part of the reputation that students might have is that they only see as far as they're under their own nose and uh, I think those that work uh, wider in society uh, and fundraise particularly, um, it shows that they have a, a broader appreciation. But also, uh, it, it shows that they can reach goals. And so, uh, if you're actually set a task and you uh, reach uh, that in terms of fundraising, uh, it shows that you can certainly achieve your goals uh, and therefore uh, tick a particular box which is very uh, appealing to, uh, to employers. Being successful in the job market is all about standing out from the crowd. Uh, and as a student, you may have a, a perception about a particular in industry sector that you want to go in, but it's just a perception until you have practical work experience. So you might find that the thing you really want to do is not the thing you want to do. Um, you've got lots of downtime, particularly in the summer um, and, and other holiday periods. So I think that it's, um, it's the right time of your life. Um, and also the other reason why it's so important when you're a student is that part of being a student is not only learning um, the academic route that you're taking and learning and studying in that way, um, you're also actually picking up all the skills and all the values and all the core values that you're going to have throughout your working life. Okay, it makes a real difference to people's lives and it's a real way that, that students can gain uh, experience of applying their academic skills uh, and knowledge to a real practical situation. Uh, students can gain confidence and it's a way of really improving students' pro prospects of future employment. And the other reason to consider work experience is because it tells an employer that you're serious about their sector because you've taken the time to actually experience it for yourself. Uh, so it builds on your CV, shows you have relevant work experience, and an employer will take you more seriously and is more likely to invite you in for interview. Well, I started taking extra dance classes at Data, and then I was persistently handing in my CV for jobs and opportunities, and then I saw a volunteers opportunity come up, and then I kind of got involved with events at Data, um, and then that, I wanted to take part in these volunteering events because I thought maybe one day this might lead me on to a paid position and I wanted to see whether it was a job I really wanted to be involved in. I wanted to work with children and I wanted to work in the arts and this was a great opportunity for me to have a go at that. I would say take as many opportunities as you can because this is a good way for you to find out what you want. You might think you know what you want but unless you kind of get involved in a workplace and see it in action then you don't really know what you're getting yourself involved with and I think you're really going to be able to hone in on the job that you really want. Um, if you're wanting to pursue a career, in particularly in the arts um, or, or in anywhere, it's about honing your skills on the job and understanding what those skills and knowledge base should be. So for instance, teamwork skills or people skills, working with a, a range of people in a range of challenging uh, or, or 
not so challenging situations where you've got to think on your feet and um, I think that's that's the experience that we're we're really looking for um, in, in candidates. Depends on the volunteering experience that you're looking for. Um, in my hospital, um, the one thing we're looking for, whether you're applying to be an accountant or a scientist or a doctor or a nurse, is that you actually have the right attitude. And that attitude is about caring for other people, it's about being compassionate, it's about being prepared to go the extra mile. And all of those things you can demonstrate from good volunteering experience. Lots of students say, how can I get experience when I haven't got a job? And how can I get a job when everybody asks for experience? It's a common thing that students say. Well, volunteering is a brilliant way to break that particular um, conundrum. The other thing about it is, is you never quite know who's reading that CV of yours, you know, and there might be someone who thinks, well, that's interesting, they, they did some volunteer work in Africa, you know, I, I travelled out there, and you know, and there could be some connection and some link. Um, it's always good to have a good, full, varied CV, you know, make sure that you've got plenty of interests and hobbies that you do. You do put down things that you do, um, uh, that don't gain you any money, uh, you know, so playing sport for teams or, you know, volunteering can be viewed in a lot of different ways. It doesn't have to just be sort of, you know, get a backpack and go off to Central Africa or, um, you know, you can volunteer locally. There's loads of things that you can do that set you apart. And I think that that's what it does exactly on your CV is it gives you something different that nobody else has got. It helps you stand out from the crowd. Well, voluntary experience is, is unpaid. So if you're prepared to work for no money, that basically tells an employer that you're really, really serious about that job or that discipline. Um, so, you know, we can all go to work and we can get paid for what it is we do, and we may do stuff we don't want to do because we're getting paid. But really doing voluntary work shows a real commitment to that sector, that opportunity, um, and demonstrate to a potential employer that they're the ones, or that you're the one that they should interview. Employers nowadays are looking for students with uh, good academic qualifications, but are looking for, for well-rounded students who've got more than that. I think those students that have uh, been involved in volunteering or fundraising show a lot of uh, initiative, uh, show a lot of self-confidence, and this is something that employers generally are looking for for future employees. As I've said, people with a wide experience, people with enthusiasm, people who've done work experience for sure. And so work experience and voluntary uh, contribution uh, are two of the absolute top things that we see. Um, levels of enthusiasm and personality and people who really want to contribute. Now, in, in our particular industry, uh, uh, the Derby Telegraph, we were involved in community activity a lot. And so we want people to come to us so we're prepared to roll up their sleeves and get involved in the community in the way that we would expect to ourselves. And so I will, uh, as the editor, uh, throw myself, in, uh, myself into various strands of community activity and I would expect them to as well. And so if they've got a C, people have got a CV in advance of coming to us, then that will clearly impress. I think certainly if they've done something over and beyond in terms of a formal course or something is always impressive. So when they've given up their own time to take part in something, and that shows commitment, dedication, particularly if that's relevant to the job they're applying for as well. It shows that you've sought to do something that isn't part of a structured programme that's been delivered to you. It shows that you've looked to develop yourself and try and do and learn new things without other people necessarily telling you this is what you should do. I find impressive um, candidates who have volunteered on a consistent basis so um, not necessarily just for one-off events but have come and committed over a number of months or a year um, you know who, who've actually really shown up every week been reliable and can talk about projects that they've been involved with and spe give specific examples of you know prep their own practice even if it's been in a, a, a sort of volunteering situation um, if they can give a real example of where they've taken the lead or they've worked as part of a team where they've been an essential part of a team that's something that really stands out and I would find impressive. Well I'm looking for people as I say who've gone the extra mile people who showing a bit of, of self-organization um, who've actually put themselves out people come to me and say I've got a degree give me a job not interested I'm afraid. I need people because everybody has got the degree otherwise they wouldn't be applying. I'm looking for people who can show that they're self-organised, they're 
good at working as a team and crucially that they've got the right compassionate um, approach to patients and to each other. My advice to students on volunteering and obtaining work experience is take personal responsibility for it. You can't sit at home and wait for these opportunities to come along. If there's a particular sector or job that you're looking to, to explore, then go out proactively to businesses and find work experience for yourself. It's absolutely down to you. The other bit of advice I'd give is to say yes. Um, there are things that will challenge you, things that will scare you. Um, they're generally the things that you should be doing. So if you have an opportunity to get involved with something that is a little bit out of your comfort zone, then go and do it. It's an experience and actually you might meet some useful contacts that can help you get that work experience that you're looking for. I think for potential job applicants, one thing I would say is that, particularly for students, although you've gained your degree, but rather than wait for the job to come along, which may take a bit of time, that you want to utilise your time better and volunteer, gain real life experience and be able to demonstrate on your CV that are no gaps there. And so on, particularly if you've done it in an organisation with a live setting, that counts for a lot and we know you're going to hit the ground running and so on. I think it, it's about being um, persistent and coming forth with you know what skills and um, ideas you can offer, um, you know, presenting, presenting yourself as somebody who is a team player. It's very important in our organisation because we have teams that deliver our class programme and everybody works together to kind of you know help the experience of the children and young people be a, be a really excellent high standard experience. Um, so I, I would say you know really be persistent and know what you want to do. I think you're volunteering basically the same in life. Don't be afraid to try anything. You'll be constantly surprised by what you can do. You may start off thinking something's outside of your comfort zone, something's impossible or you're not able to achieve. But believe me, if you try it and you throw yourself into it, you'll be amazed at what you can achieve. And for volunteering, you'll be amazed at what you can give other people back and how they will reward you in reverse. 94% of employers believe that volunteering can add, add skills. Um, and when recruiting, 80% of employers value volunteering on, on a, a student's CV. 73% of employers would employ a candidate with volunteering experience above those that haven't. Uh, from that point of view, it's just a no-brainer, just get involved in volunteering. Don't volunteer for things you don't fancy doing, but actually it's really important to do something you enjoy doing, because that just shines through. And if you enjoy it, um, then it's a, it's a triple whammy, really. It's a benefit for the, the volunteer, benefit for the member of, uh, the, of the, the, the patient that we're looking after, and it's a huge benefit for the hospital or the other organisations that you're helping. So, yeah, go for it.